I'm going to be installing a Leviton DSL-06 dimmer. And this dimmer works with LEDs, CFLs, and incandescents and can be wired as a single pole or a three-way switch. The dimmer has one dark colored screw, a green grounding screw, and two red screws. And there's tape over one of the red screws. If you're wiring this as a single pole switch, you would be using the dark colored screw and the one red screw that doesn't have tape over it. If you're wiring this as a three-way switch, your dark colored screw would become your common and you would use your two red color screws as your travelers. When you're installing this into a box, the top is marked. Always turn off the power to any circuit you're working on. A shock can be potentially deadly. Remove the old switch and separate the wires so nothing is touching. You're going to need to turn back on the power to find the hot wire from the service panel. This hot wire is going to be connected to the dark colored screw terminal. So the red wire is the hot coming from the service panel. This is our line. The yellow wire is the load, our hot going up to the light. So we're going to turn back off the power. We're going to be connecting the red wire to the dark colored screw and the yellow wire to the red colored screw. I'm doing this project in a home with metal conduit, so there is no ground wire. Screwing the dimmer into the metal box grounds it to the conduit all the way back to the service panel. So that's our ground path. If you have non-metallic cable in your box, always connect the bare ground wire to your green ground screw. I'm replacing a single pole switch, so there's only one switch that operates my lights. So I'm going to be using the dark colored screw and a red screw. This has plates that you can slide the wire under and tighten down against it, or you can wrap the wire under the screw terminal and tighten it down. If you're wrapping your wire under the screw terminal, wrap it in a clockwise direction so it doesn't loosen up as you tighten it. Once your wires are connected, you can screw it into the box. Now you can turn your power back on and test it. You can remove the color kit by squeezing the bottom and lifting it off. You have two switches. One is marked LOC. It's a locator light switch. When you turn this on, a small light is illuminated when the switch is off, so it's easy to find in the dark. You also have a mode switch. It has A and B. A is for LEDs and incandescents. B is for CFLs. If you're using the dimmer with dimmable LEDs, you may need to set the minimum load level so there's no flickering. And I'll put a link to a video on how to set it. 